Olivia here. Today I am going to show you how to add eye light control to your existing iZone system. First off, you will need to have the correct version of iZone 325 to integrate eye light control. If you don't have the correct version, you can send your iZone parts back to the guys at Airstream for reprogramming. Check with Airstream first to see if your system is capable of being upgraded and what costs are involved in doing this. Alternatively, you can always run the iLight as a standalone product via your smartphone or tablet, but it won't be displayed on the iZone touchscreen. To check if your iZone system is iLight ready, you need to check which versions your iZone touchscreen and CPU have. At the home screen, you will press the config button and then you'll type in the password WAMPLUD. You go to iZone device list and you'll press the pencil and wait for a couple of seconds. The screen will populate the versions of all the iZone parts in your system. Your CCTS will need to have a version of 3.3 or higher and your C220 will need to have a version of 3.16 or higher. As I mentioned earlier, if you don't have the right versions, contact the guys at Airstream and they can advise you how to go about getting your system upgraded to integrate the iLight product. If you have already paired lights to the bridge, you'll need to delete them before you proceed any further. See my video on getting started with iLight for details on how to delete an iLight. So assuming you have the correct versions, the first thing we need to do is pair the iLight and iZone bridge to the iZone system. If you have an existing black iZone bridge, unplug it. Taking your white iLight and iZone bridge, you can just plug it in. Or if you like, you can separate the bridge from a bridge to the power adapter. It's simply done by unscrewing the two base screws at the bottom of the bridge. And what you simply do is just separate and discard the plastic base and then just plug in the adapter into the power supply plug in your iLight and iZone bridge and connect the short blue cable into your modem and the other end of the blue cable into the port on the bridge marked as ethernet switch on the power to the bridge On the iZone homepage, press the config icon. Enter the password WAM5. On the Wi Fi bridge, you will notice that there is a blue pair button. Hold down the pair button and press pair wireless device on the touchscreen. Release the pair button and you will notice that the activity light starts to flash rapidly. On the touchscreen, press the blue reset button on the underside of the controller. You'll see that the controller starts its initialization. If you have the correct software versions, you will see that the screen displays either 225 or 325, depending on which system you have. The 5 denotes that it has an iLight bridge connected. You will notice that your homepage is different now. It shows iZone aircon and iLights. Another thing that you will also notice is that your Wi-Fi symbol is green, indicating it's ready to use. Selecting the iLight icons, you will see that you have your pair button, which allows you to pair your iLights. To go back to the home page, 
you just press main menu. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you are interested, please check out my other videos called Getting Started with Eyelight to see how to set up your eyelids. Bye for now.